this minstrel performer in 1878 sang a song called Rock and Roll Down. So there's a phrase, rock and roll. And it's, it's distinct rock and roll. Because you, you look at old sources and you'll find rock or you'll find roll used separately. But rock and roll is a very distinct sort of phrase. When he sang this song, he was appearing, as it says, on the bone end. What that means is he was one of the end men on the minstrel show, and he was playing an instrument called the bones. The bones were, were one of the two primary percussion instruments that minstrel troops featured. The tambourine, or the tambo, was the other. So you often hear minstrel troops being referred to in terms of tambo and bones, tambourine and the bones. The title of the song, Rock and Roll Them, right? Them, them. It's like, you know, black speak for them. The them in question is bones. He's rocking and rolling the bones. Mm -hmm. This opens up a pretty interesting little avenue that rock and roll, one of its earliest meanings was probably relating to this variety of minstrel percussion performance where if you played the bones with a certain amount of vigor, you were rocking and rolling. So it doesn't have that double entendre meaning that so many people like to think rock and roll has or did it evolve into having more of that double entendre meaning or is it more like a rush meaning roll the bones? <laughs> I'm not sure how much the rush part entered into it back then. It's hard to say with the double entendre part. Minstrelsy definitely was not averse to making double entendres. When minstrelsy fell out of fashion, a large part of why it fell out of fashion wasn't because it was racist so much as because it was seen as distasteful by respectable audiences.